Warning, this podcast contains Wii U, Wii U. Aha! There, it's working now. So, this episode contains SpongeBob. Um, Hello, everyone! Um, and um, welcome <laughs> to the SCN TV podcast for The Vampire Diaries. Season final. Season 8. Um, mm-hmm. Episode 1. Hello, brother. I'm your host, Dom. In darkness. With me is Mike. Nikki and Kim, also in darkness. Hmm. Hi. How's it going? I gotta say, knowing it's the final season has made me much more interested in it. Hmm. Not, you know, <laughs> not like, oh my god, thank god the show's ending, but more like, oh my god, the show's ending, I gotta see what the fuck they're gonna do. Yeah. Well, we, we know that um, Elena's coming back in some sort of fashion. Yeah, I, the, we know that... Talked everything she's still on for the last episode if she comes in early that's to be seen right now mm-hmm. they said that elena is going to be like you know the revolving theme of this season mm-hmm. it didn't seem like she was much of a theme in this episode well no, the writing was... you see they're, they're writing they're writing to her like the whole episode yeah they were they were they oh. brought it up i mean there was a you know elena was actually in the episode but it was stock footage you know mm-hmm. um but yeah, it, it, we saw this in what season four or five, I think. The, the scene with Elena. The time they very first uh, met. Yes. Yeah. It was like three or four. It's. It was when she was starting to fall in love with Damon. Right. So that's not till like four or five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the only the only thing that was different was his line. Yeah. Yes, they they added a little bit. <laughs> it, I think it was season four because um, season three season. is when Stefan was on his trip with Klaus and all that, mm-hmm. and then um, she started to get all the memories back uh, after she was a vampire. So that was season four. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, but the opening to this episode was very very much like. Uh, the very first episode of The Vampire Diaries with Damon standing in the road in the fog and, you know, all that, that stuff. And you think Damon's going to get hit and they they swerve out of the way and uh, they hit Enzo instead. You know, but they're they're having a more up-to-date conversation before before the accident this time. Last time they were talking about John Mayer, right? Um, yeah. And uh, what, were they, what were they talking about in this one? Um... It was a combo concert, wasn't it? Don't remember, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just know it was something yeah. more relevant, more recent. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and then we kind of find out that later in the episode that Henzo and Damon are not really in control. They're just kind of no. going through the motions, and um, Henzo's kind of trying to leave hints for Bonnie and... and the rest of them to try to find, but more specifically Bonnie. Yeah. Um, because we see his murder um, took place with a guitar string around the girl's neck. Uh, uh-huh. Then we find candle wax inside of her ear. Um, when Bonnie finds all this information out, she's like, these are very much like these stories, a uh, book, or whatever, that, that Enzo used to quote and recite and, and all this stuff. He read Odyssey. Yeah. 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 The Odyssey, yeah. Odyssey, yeah. He was reading it to her. Yep, and yep. Uh, it's basically a story about sirens, right? Messengers of the devil. That specific excerpt, uh, the, the whole book is not just about sirens, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they play a main role in the story. Yeah, so, the whole what a- the whole thing was, uh, you know, Odysseus, you know, mentioned clog everybody's ears with candle wax so they can't hear their song, and they can. But- you know, what I thought is weird is at this point. I mean, I have to say we now we know that you know our our big bad at this moment in time is a siren, but are they going to portray her? Because there's two different ways she can be a sirens are portrayed. There's the mermaid, which we see the water, so she's right now it's leading in that direction, or as in with the Odyssey and with with Greek mythology, they're actually winged and look more like uh, what is it? What well, I can't think what they're called right now. The harpies. Harpies. They're yeah. like a combination of a harpy and a soul flare, if you're familiar with that. Like a like a bird, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. 
since she was in, in water, it seemed like that was her way of recovering from being locked up in that cave for who knows how long. Right. Um, I think they're going to go the water route. It is possible because she is kind of in a landlocked situation that she might just sprout wings. It might be, you know, situational. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, even the winged ones are kind of, you know, related to the sea even. So water. In, in a way, the old island thing. But yeah, it was because in mythology, they were given wings by the men. I can't think of the great Nemesis. god right now. No. Uh, no, it's a it's Dementor. A D name. D-E-M-E-T-E-R. Demeter. 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 Yeah, there was can I pronounce this word? What? Dementor, yeah, it's a Dementor. Yeah. Harry <laughs> Potter, what? Yes, yes. yes. Well, Harry Potter. Shh, don't say that. Um, <laughs> she does have control over Enzo and and Damon, but they can think freely if they do choose so. But she's gonna know exactly what they're thinking. That's the that's the whole deal. Like, and this um, is why we find out Damon shut off his. Uh... You know? emotions yeah yeah he he doesn't want he doesn't want to have thoughts of going back to his friends and stuff because then she will torment them more right so maybe even the kill them he could protect them mm-hmm. uh-huh. so because at first i was like oh damon shut his humanity off oh great here we go again mm-hmm. but i'm like mm-hmm. this actually makes sense like he shut it off for a good reason this time you know, yeah it wasn't yep. just for selfish damon you know He's doing it just to do the job that she wants him them to do so that nobody gets hurt. Like, do you seriously? Damon was mopping a fucking floor. Wouldn't Damon mo- mopping a floor? Yeah, that was weird. I was like, what? Well, he did say that they're down to about 2% control. Yeah. So. Or self control. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And I just love that Enzo is like, hey, you want to watch some TV? And Damon's like, nah. I'm uh, just gonna read. I'm gonna a book. read for a little bit. Fifty <laughs> Shades of Grey, of all things. Fifty fucking shades of grey. We're just thinking of Gilbert Godfrey. You two have ruined that for me. <laughs> it was not me. Do not. He br- did. Do not bring me. It. You said you two. Yeah. Uh, if you you're included. If you haven't seen or heard it. You YouTube, were in the car. YouTube Gilbert Gilbert Godfrey reading Fifty Shades of Grey. It is the most fantastic oh, thing you'll ever listen to. God. No, yep. don't do it. Do it's it. like it's like looking up pixelated bukake on Google. No, you don't want to do not that. Like that at all. Nowhere near that bad. What is wrong <laughs> with you? It's terrible. No. So, but yeah, uh, B. No comment on on Damon reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Of all people here, <laughs> no comment. Oh yeah, I was expecting uh, you. Well, I was more focused on the whole the the mythology of of things, and and at this point, because I am it a big really, yeah, I'm a huge history buff. So, and and definitely Greek in in, in Roman mythology is like my one of my favorites. Super interesting. So, um, if you didn't see in my wild characters, they're all named after gods. <laughs> so it's it's it's. So I was more focused on that than I did sit there and I was all like, wait, is he reading what I think he's reading? <laughs> And there was no comment to it. I think that was more funny. It's like no one said anything. He was just like, "I'm reading this sex book. What is?" You know what? It would. I mean, if you have no emotions, reading a book like that would be really easy, just to just thumb through and not really care. It's not like he's gonna get all hot and bothered from reading it. Exactly. <laughs> True. I'm really surprised he was not reading, you know, like Anne Frank, you know, or something <laughs> like that. That would have been funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. Especially after uh, or and rice, and rice. Um, I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. I had a thought. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, my bad. What? Because uh, he made reference to that in, I think it was episode three, episode four. You know, because uh... him, him reading Fifty Shades of Grey is like the comparison of him reading Twilight in the first season. Yeah, right? and he goes, "Oh, I miss Anne Rice." You know, she she had it all down. So it would have been great to see him reading. I think Anne Rice, but it's funnier, I think, to to see him reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm-hmm. But it's almost like they took the first season and they're using that to draw, like, hundred percent parallels from. You know, I'm not. I mean, look at the name of the episode. I would Hello be there. Fun. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. You know, one of the, the the line that ended episode one of season one. 
Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, or no, I don't think it ended that, but it was like the big cliffhanger before a commercial, at least. Yeah. Um, I, I, it was, when we first it was still... It was his still first like, words. It was his first yeah, words. Yeah. David's first words in episode one. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, it was great having him recite that line again. Mm-hmm. You know? And then, uh... Oof, when when Stefan found that place, I was like, "Oh, this is not gonna end well for Stefan." I was I was expecting Stefan to be under their control. As I well. yeah, I was expecting yeah, something terrible to happen, but they and she let him go. It, it was what he said that she, it, she doesn't want him yet. Yep. Yet. 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 Emphasis on the yet. <laughs> yep. Like. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. She's pretty. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point of a siren, right? Well, yeah, because they're the, the being alluring. Alluring, pretty, until you get close, and it's like, Oh, God, it's going to eat me! Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Damon describes uh, having seen hell up close. Fire and well, brimstone. Yeah, if they're going down the line that, that she's, you know... a messenger of the devil messenger of the devil or, or of, of hell um mm-hmm. then that would that would make sense though of course they're also known to what is it from actually from the odyssey exactly it's they they should they promise to learn they should promise the sailors for them to learn new and wisdom from the wise whether it's true or fake is basically they're giving they're just that they're doing what they can to their victims to get the keep them in control Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm really interested. Uh, the casting call names her as Sybil, right? And mm-hmm. uh, that is a famous siren. Yes. Um. She's well. She's depicted multiple ways within mythology and within within other books. Actually, I think I also saw that she's actually a siren in the God of War series game mm-hmm. game series. Um. Uh. What is it? Exactly what I was looking at. Because um, she's also depicted as a uh, as a prophet mm-hmm. who only tells the truth. Okay. But no one, yeah, but no one believes her. Hmm. Except she lies to her husband and there's a bunch of sexual stuff. Yeah, you, know, you know what? Greek mythology, <laughs> it's full of that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. They, you can't have mythology, yeah. mythology without sex. It's, 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 it's all over the stuff. It's place. never clean. <laughs> yeah, it's just the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's never clean. Yeah, it's not. And it's usually somewhat hilarious. Mm-hmm. Except when Zeus decides to be an animal. And things and stuff. And I don't even... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greek There's mythology is definitely interesting. Of... Yeah, Zeus is like, you know... Welcome to Sex Ed. Chapter 1, Zeus and what not to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me sleep with this person and this person and, and this person and, and turn into person. an animal and like satisfy their you know bestiality needs and. I don't think he ever planned to satisfy anyone but himself. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. Zeus was a Zeus was a douchebag, guys and girls. <laughs> yep. Uh, but even though you know Bonnie's all but given up uh, hope. Um, you know, we, we had Stefan still searching, um, Alaric is in charge of the armory now, mm-hmm. which I think is a fantastic job. For yeah. Him. Not something yeah. I saw coming, but he definitely fantastic. Like he loved it so, so, so much. Mm-hmm. Like you just see that. the fire in his eyes. Like, yeah, again, I mean, after mm-hmm. it's been so long, he's been very, like, I feel like I've always loved his character and I felt like lately he'd been so just sad like not like not like like the character just seemed boring like it was didn't yeah. have the fire that it had always that it had to the first you know season since he had showed up it's been that and way just since like... he came back you know to me like when he left the show to go do um that the cult show he was on yeah the cult um and then that bombed and then he was still off the season and then they brought him back because of the other side coming through you know all that when bonnie and and damon went to mm-hmm their little prison world. Um, yeah. 
ever since he came back, like, he was still really cool because he was an original vampire, and I loved that story, but then when he got turned back to human, it's like all the fire from that character just went away and never came back. He got bland. It's yeah, like they... Bland. It's like they forgot how to write him or just pushed him off to the side and tried to focus on some other storyline. Yeah. Even when he was part of a huge storyline, though, like especially like with the twins and, you know, Joe and yeah. Kai, even, he was just kind of meh. Yeah. But I really, really like this uh, role for him. He, and he's still very involved in his daughter's lives. He's got, you know, the nanny at home, him and Caroline are still speaking, you know, like all of that's really cool. You see. Caroline still has some, you know, reservations about what's going to hurt him and what's not going to hurt him. And she basically doesn't move on with her life until he says it's okay. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to comment on that because... I don't, I don't even know what's going on there, really. Like, at the end of the episode, I'm like, wait, does she have the kids or does he have the kids? Are they living together? Are they <laughs> going to live it all live with Stefan or... Apparently, I'm, I'm under the impression that <laughs> she's gonna go live. live with she's she's <laughs> gonna live. She's like he's gonna. It looks like she, she, they're living in her mom's, like her her house, mm-hmm. and apparently he's gonna take over her house, and she's gonna go move in with Stefan. Hmm. I you know Which, well he's he's got a really shitty apartment somewhere. So I mean. Caroline loves the kids, so if the kids are comfortable in her mom's house, she's and she still needs to move on, and she wants to be with Stefan, I don't see a problem with giving the house to a lark. Exactly. No. I would say those two got cozy real quick. Stefan and Caroline? Yeah. Well, they've been searching for months. It's been months since the last season. Yeah. yeah. Up to like half a year or something like that. Even I, was just, they, they, I been, hate that matchup. <laughs> but they've been kind of together since the Travelers. Don't forget, like there, yeah. you, there was that moment between the two of them when they were like locked in the trunk together. You know. Yeah, so, they've been kind of pining for each other for n- a number of seasons. So, yeah, like, so, I'm never, I'm not a fan of like their, their. I loved, <laughs> I loved their friendship. It was really yeah. comedic. Well, I'm okay with their friendship. I'm not okay. I'm not okay with their. People, their are, people are wondering um, the direction the show is going to go now for the ending here, um, because for the end of the whole season, you know the the series even, um, people are wondering: Are we going to get Elena and Damon, or are we going to get Elena and Stefan? Um, well, I get Elena and Stefan. Well, they're saying because of Ian and um, Nina's bad relationship, and they. There's potentially, you don't know how much of it is rumor and, and all that, but there's potentially problems with uh, Ian's wife uh, does not want Nina on the show, and like supposedly there's this big commotion over it that there was talk you know. about. There was talk about Nina and, and Paul's character. I'm just rolling my eyes. Yeah, both people are rolling our eyes. Oh, like seriously, I'm just the saying. Adults. If this is yeah, if this is true and this is all this is going on. Can you, I'm sure. Can you guys just get it together for one fucking episode? I'm sure it's good. Or how many episodes this is? You're fucking actors. Get yeah. your shit together. It's, You're it's professionals. Good. Exactly. But I mean, her, her excuse we... is that Ian is absolutely infatuated with her. Um, I'm like, leave your bullshit at the door. Yeah, I don't know. So. Just like in any any fucking job, you leave your bullshit at the fucking door. Leave your bullshit I, at the door. He's allowed to still have feelings for her. I mean, they were together for a while. Yeah, so she and... doesn't want him kissing him. On on the production of the show because of that. Fucking uh, acting. That, that is Never. that is a rumor going around. I'm not saying. Well, this no. Is true. I mean, I get it. I understand if that is you know what's going on or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's still a fucking job. This is your job. But leave your bullshit at the fucking door. Mm-hmm. Do your goddamn job. Mm-hmm. Entertain us for fuck's sake. <laughs> we don't care about your I real mean, life bullshit. I mean, take the real life bullshit and film it and put it on on the show. Who cares? Like that's still yeah, entertaining. Okay. That'll entertain me. <laughs> but I mean, shit. You know, so, I mean, there there is a possibility that um, that uh, Stefan and Elena can, can end up together. It's a possibility. I'm not going to rule it out. <sighs> I'm not, I guess I won't rule it out. I don't see it. I think it'd just be some weird whacked up shit that I'm like, what? This is fucking making sense. Get the fuck out of here. It's going to be like... <laughs> It's going to be a twist that we didn't expect, and it's going to happen so quickly, and we're all going to be sitting there, like, with our heads spinning, going, why the fuck? 
Klaus is going to come back and sweep Elena off her feet, and they're going to wind up happily okay. ever after. Say, say Damon what? dies. Say Damon I'd dies. Yeah, exactly. Say Damon okay. dies at some point. I mean, I, I at this point, I'm expecting it. It's the final season. I'm seeing a main yeah. character death coming along. Seeing, you know? like, the whole cast. Just <laughs> later, Gators. Um, yeah, that I mean, could happen. Like, just everybody dies. There is possibility some of these characters could end up showing up in the original. So, me yeah. personally, I don't want to see anybody die off because I, I would love for them to guest role in the originals. Which I, yeah, I don't want to see everybody die off. By the no, way, no, no. by the way, we're not going to get the originals until the winter break. Uh, mm-hmm. They're coming back. I think they start when the winter, like after the winter break, comes back. So, uh, early January, late December, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, we still got a little bit. Is that going to be concurrent? With this season, we really don't know, right? Anything about no, it. I mean, it doesn't it, doesn't need to be anymore. They had their time no, it jump. Doesn't. They had their mm-hmm. time jump at the end, so technically mm-hmm. they are caught up. I think in the timeline, um, because if you remember on the um, the originals, they all entered um, one of their minds or something like that, and they're all living in like a a, a place together in in their heads and. Yeah, it's like another. It's like another prison dimension, so except they're searching that's where for they could... mind link. They're searching for a way to get rid of the toxin and all that that's going through their their blood and all that. Mm-hmm. So they're all like locked away for the time being. So that could be their time jump. You no, know, it is their time jump. They've already said yeah. that. Okay, um, but yeah. So it will have caught up, but I don't know if it's gonna stay caught up, kind of thing. You know, who knows. Um, but, I always like the the Klaus and Caroline. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. But she'd be a good mama for his baby. I, like I see this going out with Damon sacrificing himself for his brother. Yeah. Like, th- this this is this show is the story of two brothers. If one does not sacrifice themselves for the other, I'm gonna be very surprised. And, and I would Ian, be very upset if it's not Damon sacrificing himself right. for Steph, because that would complete the character arc really nicely. Exactly, yeah, and for Ian, who kind of wants to get away and become a family man, it's not going to really leave things open for him to go on to the originals, because he's probably not going to do it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but Paul, on the other hand, you get Stefan to show, Stefan will gladly go over there, he's already done it, you know? Well, his, his and he has history with Klaus, so it, it his just chicka- makes sense. His real life chickaboos on that show too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So why not? Yeah. So, unfortunately, as much as I don't want to see it, I, I want to see it. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to see Damon yeah. sacrifice himself right. for everybody. Um, <laughs> and and the best way that I could see that is maybe transferring the spell that's on Bonnie to Damon. For Elena to wake up. Oh. Because she'd wake up a human, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and if if that is the case, it will uh, negate the the issues that everybody has. Mm -hmm. Or allegedly has. Um, But I know oh so long ago when they destroyed the other side, Julie Pleck has stated she has an ending in mind for the show. And with the recent events of the other side being destroyed, the ending has to be modified slightly. So when she said that, I was like, okay, so one person is going to be dead, um, and you're going to see their ghost in, in the scene. But because the other side doesn't exist anymore, that has to be modified. So I'm thinking maybe they bring the other side back. Somehow. They reconstruct it? Yeah. I mean, mm. if they do bring in hell in some way, <clears throat> demons do have a lot of power, just like angels. Yeah, it, it seems more like a job for a Bennett witch, though. Everything's a Bennett witch fucking spell. Get the hell out of here. Mm. <laughs> it's all Bonnie. Powerful witches. So she doesn't have any magic right now. Yeah. She does not. Mm-hmm. But that's right now. That's right now. Yeah. Why well, I said right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I thought it was cool seeing um, the way the darkness got out of the vault in the first place. Like we were like, "Oh, that well, wall? how did they get out?" You know, and it's like, "Okay, shut off all your senses and walk through the wall." 
if that was there from the get go, then why the fuck? What's I don't even know. It may have needed a physical host to do it. That's true. Because if it didn't have a host, it wouldn't have senses. Without senses, you're you're not gonna be able to do that. Right. Hmm. Did you also notice that a lot of the stuff that was actually in that vault was Greek? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Makes sense. Put a Greek monster in there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um. But so one of the one of the cast members that was in um the armory was uh, the man the man from uh, containment. Uh, Trey. He was. The oh young... my god! Yeah. Oh, was. The... Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah. It was Trey it was... It was uh, what's her face's baby daddy. Ter- Teresa's baby daddy. Teresa's baby daddy. I knew I recognized him. <laughs> And uh, the other one was Allison Skagoli from uh, Warehouse, Warehouse 13. 13. I like how she goes from playing a character who is like in charge of a massive vault full of creepy supernatural objects, and now she's a character in charge, you know, investigating a vault full of creepy supernatural <laughs> objects. Oh, yeah, perfect role for her. <laughs> perfect role. And she's she's still the same amount of attitude and sass too, which is yes. great. But she's not playing I, like a young girl in this one. No. And no. that's why yeah. it threw me Ooh, off chill. a little bit because I'm like, mm-hmm. I know I know her. Like I'm sitting yeah. there and it was like the next scene that she appeared in. All of a sudden I was like, "Oh my god. It's her." You know, I have mm-hmm. Claudia. I was like, "It's Claudia." So, <laughs> you know, I went nuts. Yeah, I was not expecting yeah. that. the the I one like... the one actress I was suspecting or expecting, I should say, was Katie, um, from Containment, who played mm-hmm. uh, Caroline in Alaric's uh, Nanny. Nanny. I didn't know who she was at first. I was like, damn, I I had the same thing that Dom had with Claudia. Like, <laughs> I know her. I know who she is. What the hell? I can't figure this out. And when and they're then, like, and then uh... <laughs> she's like, it's Katie. I'm like. As soon as I saw her in the scene, I'm like, ah, look who it is. Like, I recognized her, and I recognized Claudia at first, but Trey, nope, didn't have, I'm, I'm staring at him. Like, I knew, I knew exactly. When they slid I knew her he throat, I went, oh, God, don't kill her already. <laughs> yeah, like, don't kill I, Katie again. <gasps> and I'm like, she's been in the show for 45 seconds. What the hell kind of a cameo is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But obviously, since Caroline saved her ass, she's going to be asking questions, even though probably Caroline said, oh, you're not going to remember this. Go go get ice cream. She, I have a feeling she's going to have lingering memories, and she's going to be like, this is weird. And the girls are going to start doing things. And It's probably like the fourth or fifth time she's died, to be honest, watching those kids. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Well, let's, let's be real about it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the kids themselves have probably done shit to her. <laughs> uh, yep. She probably walks into the room, forgets why she walked in there, walks out, does this three times over the course of five minutes. Because the kids are making her forget. Oh, God. Yeah. They move her keys, so, you know, like magically move her keys so she can't find them. A little they, mystery. They make, they make her give them more cookies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't, we didn't get our cookies up. yet. No, I'm waiting to see her become something else. Like she's something like hidden, like secret. Yeah, thing. suspicious. Like who always suspicious the, um, of something like that. Who was the assassin that that slit her throat? Was oh, that... it was it was the crazy bitch. The, yeah, she... from the psychiatric hospital that Bonnie was in. It was the sister or the cousin of the person running the, the armory. Sister. The sister of the person who was running the armory, who is related to, to Alaric's. Oh no, yeah, Enzo's great grandfather oh, or something like that. Okay, I because I was I was trying to talk to Nikki and I'm like, who was the assassin? She's like, oh, that's just Enzo's cousin. And I'm like, I thought that I thought niece. she meant her niece or whatever. I thought she was talking about the lady that was in charge of the armory. And I'm like, no, like no, that's it's the other not one. her. But when you said the the um. <clears throat> The mental asylum. Because there was three oh, okay. sisters. I remember her now. <gasps> and she was the crazy one. Yes, Kim? Yes, go. Fine. I just you fucking... Talk, you're thinking okay. of the fates, aren't you? Well, I mean, the being that the siren... Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, <laughs> as... <laughs> Sirens don't come by themselves. No, they, they don't. They sisters. 
Mm. And there's usually at least three. There's usually at least three to five. So what if the other two forgot their identities? And that's the reason why they were connected to the vault. Maybe they're not really related to Enzo. Mm. Well, they're both dead. <laughs> it just clicked in my head and went, ugh. And I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the nanny is not anything supernatural because she was compelled. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. But, There's always uh, that suspicion, though, that she would do something. You can always pretend to be compelled. That's, That's true. true too. But yeah, I don't know about her being that, but I, I definitely think we're going to see something else happen. Like I said, sirens don't ever come solo. There's that, and she's probably going to get so in the middle of something, like, just from curiosity or something, and she's going to be on the brink of death, and they're going to have to turn her into a vampire. That's what I get. I, I think that's where they're going with her character. Yeah, probably. And then she's a little bit, she could be flip-floppy. She can go and be the nanny for Klaus. And then uh, Kai can come back. And they can fall in love. Oh my god. Uh, I'm with it. I'm on no, I, I, You I'm know what? I'm fine shit. where uh, I'm fine where Chris Wood is right now, so it's it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, for those, oh, right. for those of you that He's are not Supergirl. aware. Yeah, Chris Wood is playing Mon L on Supergirl. Mm-hmm. Um so he he's already uh he's already on the show, he already made his debut. He is fantastic. Just mm-hmm. as fantastic he's basically Take Kai from the Vampire Diaries and take, um, Jake. 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 I'm still calling him Kai when he was on that show. Uh, take Jake <laughs> from Containment and blend the characters together, and you have Monel. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it's a fantastic role for him. Fantastic. Isn't yep. he Kryptonian? No. No. Oh. Mm. But okay. Um, yeah. If you guys are not uh, caught up on Supergirl, do so because. Chris Wood is I'm fantastic. Catch up. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, uh, Aubrey James in chat is saying, you know, I felt this episode was kind of boring. And yeah, it was very slow, but it was setting up story. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. It was setting oh, yeah. up where it most, needs to go. The most rest season of the... premieres are, though, they're, yeah. you know, you only get one out of the, you know, bunch of 20 shows on TV that just blows your mind in the beginning. Yeah. It's you have two season premieres, and this is pretty much because we watch a lot of shows for this. And yeah, you know the slow, quiet set up the story moment, or the resolve the cliffhanger immediately. You know, people die, explosions, you know, crazy shit, and then set the rest of the story up in episode two. Yeah, I don't like. I prefer I prefer something like this, mm-hmm. where it's nice and slow, and you have everything that needs to be, and then it just ramps up from there. You know, I'd rather well, I... I'd rather start out. At, at like a plateau and just continue to peak instead of going up and down and up and down. Like I don't like having boring episodes and filler episodes in the middle, and I don't think we're gonna have time for that here. No, I like they didn't piddle. Like they didn't piddle with us knowing what the what the the creature was. Yeah, like we know. Right. They, they kind of dragged it. it. A little bit. No, no, no. A little bit, but it wasn't like like piddle through episodes. Like we didn't go no, like no, you know, no, two, yeah. three, four episodes we not knowing what the fuck this thing in the water was. Yeah, the blood. Yeah. The blood water. Yeah, I think that was just straight up blood. No, I think it was water that got tinged with flesh and blood. She she was like piranha in those those bodies that were going into the water. It was just like... That's why I think they're going the mermaid route. Your blood is a lot thicker. Um, Yeah, I know, but you know what? They're not going to fill a pool with... If you've seen the way they portray the the mermaid version of of a siren, they look like, like, like fish faces. So, kind of eat people like piranhas. Yeah, they eat people like piranhas, exactly. So, yeah. I think that's, that's the direction they're going. Hmm. I just think of like Pirates of the Caribbean because they had the mermaid sirens in there. I mean, that's the one ver- that's the version they used for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Uh, hell, for all we know, she can just, you know, randomly in an episode or so just sprout wings and start, f- you know, flying across like the Like I said, and maybe. Could just put maybe a, a strobe light on mix... top of her head and run around and go, wee you, wee you, wee you. Yeah, she- Exactly. You know, they can do yeah, anything yeah. they freaking want. But like, That's true. I feel like her powers are circumstantial. Like, if she needs wings, she gets wings. If she needs a fin, she gets a fin. You know, whatever she feels like it. She well, there's other the concept is, is she is a, a, a messenger from the devil. The devil can 
grant her whatever the fuck he feels like it. Hmm. Yeah, he could he could give her eight legs <laughs> if he wanted. If she needed eight legs to get somewhere, who knows? Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Do uh, you guys have anything else for this episode? No, it was... It was good. It's, I mean, yeah, it was a little boring, I'll agree. But you know what? It's it, It's got me interested for the season. Because I was I going mean... into the season kind of like, eh, eh, I'm good now after watching yeah. this. The, the Bonnie, you know, she started off like really brought down like she had no hope and then Stefan talked to her and then it turned around after Stefan met Damon and figured like, oh, there's yeah. no coming back from that. She's like, no, dude, we got to save him. Come on. Stop yeah. being a little pussy. I mean, I really I, I... like that they went back to the diary <laughs> format, too. And instead of everybody writing their own, like they're it's taking just... turns. And I think that's a yeah. much better. Um, mm mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, like Caroline's yeah. like, you're not going to be hearing from me latest, and then it gets cut straight to Bonnie writing. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you kinda... think about it? If they, if you know, Elaine is gone for, let's just say, Bonnie's full life, 50, 60, 70 years, they're going to have 50, 60, 70 years of diaries per person for Elena to read. She's not going to sit there and read all three, four diaries. At, you know, it's not going to happen. I mean, she'll have a so she's a human life and she's not a vampire anymore? Right. Not like she has all the time in the world. Right. Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, who's to say that when she comes out of whatever she does, like, whatever coma, magical bullshit she's going through right now, um, if it's in 60 years, she comes back and she's not exactly all there. So she has to be in an asylum and that's the only thing she can do is read those journals. Unfortunately, that's, I mean, that's no show. And obviously that's not going to be the show, but... I mean, it could end up being that way. I mean, it happens all the time. People wake up from a coma and they're just not complete. Yep. You're, you're lost. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Yep. Um, but, yeah, um, this final season here um, will only have 16 episodes. Mm-hmm. It's running hmm. short. Yep. So, we are we are one down. 15 to go. Uh, next episode is called Today Will Be Different. Another line okay. from, from episode one. Uh, the first uh, line of Elena's journal. Mm-hmm. Um, or her diary. Um, after learning that someone from Stefan's past uh, may be Damon and Enzo's next target, Stefan, Bonnie, and Caroline head to North Carolina. There, Bonnie takes drastic measures in an attempt to break Enzo free of whatever has a hold over him. At the armory, Alaric and Georgie uh, stumble upon a mysterious symbol that may be related related to the supernatural force controlling Damon and Enzo. Finally, Caroline gets an unexpected surprise from Stefan. A shiny? A shiny. Probably gonna go with a shiny. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it may not be a shiny that goes on your finger. It could be a shiny that goes on her wrist or, you know, around her neck, but... A shiny. A shiny. Also, I just want Alara <laughs> and Georgie's her name, you know, in this show. I just want them to start playing with artifacts down there and shit starts blowing up in, like, hilarious ways. Pull out a pair of purple gloves before you touch any of those, please. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I swear to God, if there's a pair of purple gloves next episode, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna die happy. Seriously, that show was way <laughs> too, mm, that show was underrated. Mm. It's fantastic. It's not, it was, it's like a Firefly concept thing. I mean, it, it's just like, you know, pe- not enough people got into it because it wasn't advertised properly. Yeah. All right. So that is our show. Mike, where can people find you? Twitter. There. I almost did it right. At Philodrin. I'll get that right one day. No, you won't. Nikki, no. where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter. At LadyVenom24. L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M-24. Kim, Hi. where can the people find you? <laughs> also on Twitter, at Huffy Puppy, H-U-F-F-I-T-Y, P-U-F-F-I-T-Y. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. Do-do-do-do-do.
There, I did it. You can find us all and more on Facebook, Gmail, G+, Twitter, <laughs> Space, and right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, games, and movies. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Ciao. I'll be your Okay.